Question number 18 is to solve equation by elimination method. Now here, as long as you solve the system of equation, it's fine. But elimination method anyways is one of the easiest methods. So we will do by the system of elimination itself. But otherwise, if you know any method of uh, you know solving systems, just go ahead with it. It will be fine. Now, the elimination method is about subtracting, you know, you need to cancel two terms and then simplify. Now, first thing, look at the terms over here, 3x and below is 5x minus 2y plus 3y. There is nothing that can easily be cancelled off. But here we have opposite signs anyways, minus and plus. This really helps us. So leave the signs, just look into the numbers. And also see the numbers are much easier. 2 and 3 is a smaller numbers compared to 3 and 5, right? So we will consider these numbers and multiply to the opposite other equations. Now, if you're seeing this number 2, you don't multiply here 2. You multiply on the other equation. Multiply this by 2 and 3 here. If you have chosen y, choose the y in the other equation. 3, multiply throughout by that term. Why do we do this? We do it so that we will have two equations common and then we can cancel it off. Here, remember to multiply 3 throughout, not just to one term, not just this term, throughout. So what will happen is, I'll write it over here, 3 times 3 will be 9x minus 6y equals 4 times 3 is 12. Now do the same thing in the second equation. Here you multiply 2. It will be 5 times 2 is 10x plus 6y equals negative 50. Now simplify them. You can't cancel this, but you can cancel the y terms. y plus 6 minus y is 0, so it's 0y gone. Now what remains over here? You just add them up. Okay, just add, add them every way. 9 plus 10 is 19x and Minus 50 plus 12, it'll be 40 minus 2, it's 38, but minus sign. Why? Because 50 is having negative. Now divide both the sides by 19, and you're going to get x is equal to minus 2. That is the first answer. That is x value we found out. Now how do we find the other value? Just substitute this back in the simpler equation. You can do it in any but see, the first equation is simple, right? Small numbers. This is big numbers. But you will get the answer same. I will do for both in this case. I will do over here. 3 times, instead of x, I'll put minus 2. Minus 2y equals 4. Or 5 times minus 2 plus 3y equals negative 25. Let me solve both of these. It will be minus 6 minus 2y equals 4. And here... What I'll do is I'll take this negative 2y to the other side and bring my 4 to the other side. It becomes minus 4 equals plus 2y. It's here it's going to be minus 6 minus 4 is minus 10 equals 2y. Divide both the sides by 2. You'll have minus 5 equals y. Now here also we need to get the same answer. Let's do it. It'll be negative 10 plus 3y equals negative 25. And take this to the other side, it's going to be 3y equals minus 25 plus 10 is negative 15. Y divide both the sides by 3, you will have negative 5. This is the answer. It's the same answer, you can see. So this is how we basically solve. The solution is minus 2, comma, minus 5. We always write x, comma, y, x first and y next. Now, you can check your answers in the calculators as well. I will show you now. To solve systems of equation and calculator, you have to just press mode. Say, so look, this is the default mode. Press mode, you will have many options. These are equations. So, press 5 for equation. And now, which is this? This is not having square or cube. It is not having three variable. It's only the option 1 that is possible for this. So, let's press 1. And you can now type in the values. It is 3 minus 2 and then we have 4. Now look carefully. Here the equal to must be number. See the right side must be only number. The first term is the coefficient of x. Next coefficient of y equal to this thing. One minute. Let me just go back. Mode 5. Over here the standard form is that it should match this. 
x and y are together equals to the constant term. So we just type them up now. 3 minus 2, 4 and 5, 3 minus 25. This is all typed in. Press equal to it gives you the x value that is minus 2 and y value is minus 5. So this is how we can check our answers. But you need to do the write-up. You need to write it and then check your answers. You can see that's that's the answers we got. X is minus 2 and Y is minus 5. You can check this answer as well and solve it up. I will just do it again. The calculator method is mode 5 and 1. Remember, this is just to check your answers. It's 5, 2, 12, minus 6, minus 2 and negative 14. The answers must be 2 and 1. Now, how do you solve this? I will do this over here. It's very easy to solve this one. Why? Because you have plus 2 minus 2. This cancels off when you add these two equations. And then what happens? 5 minus 6x is only minus x equals minus 2. Now, negative sign cancels dividing both the sides by minus 1. You will get x is equal to 2. Now, what about y? Substitute in any equation. I will take 5 times 2 plus 2y equals 12. The first equation is used here. It will be 10 plus 2y equals 12. Take this to the other side. It will be 2y equals 12 minus 10. 2y equals 2. Y is equal to 1 because dividing both the sides by 2. And these are the solution set. 2 comma 1 is the answer. So this is how we can easily solve it up. 2 and 1 is the answer. Please solve the other problems by yourselves. They are pretty straightforward. Now I'll do this last one. Why? Because over here both are positive. Both the equations, the variable, the coefficients of both the variables are plus and plus. What do you do in such cases? Take the easier number. Now I'm not going to choose 7 and 21 because they're huge, right? You have to multiply throughout by 21. I mean, it's possible you have calculators, but still, I'll choose 2 and 6, which is easier. What I'll do is I'll just multiply the first equation by 6 and this by 2. And let me get the equations. The new equations formed are uh, 7, 6, 42, x plus 12, y equals negative 6. And 21 times 2 is 42, x and plus 12 y okay now i forgot to tell you one thing guys you should not multiply both plus you should just change one sign here okay at least one term sign now i did multiply six here here you need to at least multiply by negative sign okay or you can write positive both sides and then you should change the signs for all and subtract it so it's easier if you do minus okay so what i'll do is i'll just multiply the below term by negative two so it'll be minus 42 minus 12 equals positive 18. And now look here, when you add them up, this cancels, cancels, 0 equals over here 12. Is this correct? This is wrong. There is no solution. This cannot be solved. Now, what if you do it in your calculator? You will get a math error. So in your calculator also, it will tell you it's wrong. See, this is not possible. There is no solution. It depends on which coefficients you use. If you use different coefficients, you're going to get different number. But anyways, you will get an error. See, this is wrong. 0 is not equal to 12. I got 0 equals to 12 when I solved this. So it's an error. This has no solution. Now try the others. The methods are also available over here. Most of the time you'll get the answers. You can check your answers in the calculator as well. Here the answers are here y is 3 by 2 and what is the x value is half. So it's supposed to be uh, over here the answers are not matching. We can just check it in the calculator. I've typed in all the coefficients and when I press equal to it's negative half. This is correct. And then you have 3 by 2. So over here, just be careful. This was an error. And uh, all the other problems, please do try to solve it by yourself. Generally, you will have solutions. If you do not have, it will either be no solution or infinite solution. Now, I'll solve this problem as well. Now, let me just uh, solve it up. So, let me choose any two numbers. I'll choose 6 and 3. 
I'll change one of the sign. I'll change this sign to minus when I multiply the coefficient. So this will be multiplied by minus 3 throughout and this one with positive 6 throughout. Now sometimes students multiply the first two terms and they forget the, to multiply this 3 because I've seen many of my students do that mistake at times. Please don't do that. Multiply throughout all the three terms. 6 times 3 is 18. It will be negative 18w plus 8 3s are 24 z and equals 16 times 3 is 48. Now what about this term? It will be my uh, positive 18w and we will have over here 6 4s are 24. So it is plus minus 6 24 sorry 24 z equals 8 6 of 48. Now let's solve this up. Let's add them up. And over here, I forgot to write the sign. See, I missed it up. It's minus 18 plus 24 and minus 48. Now let's solve it up. What's going to happen? This cancels 0. This cancels. This cancels. 0 equals 0 is what we got. Now this over here is true. Yes, 0 is equal to 0. Or if you use some other variables, you might have different numbers. 1 equal 1, 2 equal 2. This is an identity. Since it is true, this is true for every time. That means both the equations here are same. They're literally the same equations. They are infinite solutions. Now I can prove that they are same. Let me just divide this by 2. Okay, the first equation. Let me divide by 2 or let me multiply the second equation by 2. Anyhow, so I will just multi divide this by, uh, multiply by half or divide it by 2. So it will be 3w minus 4z equals 8. Now compared with the second equation, they are the same, right? So it's basically the same equations. They are overlapping and there are infinite solutions. And that's the answer. And that's the end. Please do try solving problems on yourselves. Write and solve. Please go through the steps and it will be very easy. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comments.